Hello family, my name is Favor Francis and welcome to another incredible lesson on learning data analysis with I Do Know It. Okay, today I'm going to be taking you on a drive on how to format data in Excel, right? For the purpose of this training, we are currently using the Microsoft Excel Online. That's the Microsoft Excel Online version. Is that okay so that is what we are using at the moment is that okay so if you don't have a Microsoft Excel online account you want to go for the to create one or you want to watch the previous lesson where we showed you how to create the Microsoft online account right or if you're part of those that attended the live section the live class I believe you should have created the Microsoft account right the Microsoft online account okay so today we're gonna be showing you how to format data in Excel and some of the basic formatting option you might consider when trying to format your data on Microsoft Excel so the first thing we are going to do which is step a I'm already on my Microsoft Excel online right you can get that for free is to import our data so we're going to be importing our data so I already have my data stored on my PC I'm currently using a Windows PC and I already have my data stored right on my PC so the data file has also been shared if you belong to the ideal Novit community whether on whatsapp or telegram you should find the data file right or you will find the data file on the description link of this video right so you also find the link to download the data file is that okay so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go with step a which is going to the file menu so I'm gonna to go to the file menu right now so fine click on the file menu you're gonna see the option open so I'm gonna to go to the open option right here and then I will select open file from this device now if you have never used the Microsoft Excel online before you're not gonna see all those recently open files is that okay but because of I've used the Microsoft Excel online multiple times right that is why I can find that is why I can find this recently open files is that okay so I'm gonna go to open files from this device open files from this device is that okay so I'll click on open files from this device and I'll go to my downloads that is where my file is right so you go to wherever you stored your file the downloaded data set that we sent on the community or that has been pinned on the description of this video is that okay so I'll select the file go into my Explorer my PC Explorer under the downloads category I find my file I select my file I'll click on open and the moment I click on open my file will start loading is that okay my file will start loading is that okay my file will start loading okay so my file have opened up on a new tab now for for those of you that might have the pop-up uh, blocker I'm currently using a Chrome browser so if in any way you have the pop-up blocker on your Chrome browser you want to follow this technique right go to your settings option um, go to the three icons the three dot icons on your browser and you scroll down to your settings option now from the settings option you want to go to privacy and security right so I'm gonna go to privacy and security right now then you scroll down then you're gonna locate the section called site settings so you click on site settings and then you scroll down and you will see the option that says pop up and redirect so you click on pop up and redirect and then this is where you can you can either block block sites from having a pop-up right or allowing sites from having pop-ups is that okay so you see this one don't allow site to send pop-up or use the redirect sites can send pop-up 
and use redirect so this is the one you want to enable is that okay so once you're done with this in case you are having a pop-up blocker that pop-up blocker will be disabled is that okay so let's go back to our data file our data file has loaded now that our data file has loaded some of you you might have this if you look at the right hand side which is step two or step b if you look at the right hand side of your screen close to this share button you're going to see this option that says viewing you can see that we can only view this file and we can't edit the file are you to, are you with me you can only view this file and you can't edit the file so we are going to click on that option that says viewing once we click it we are going to see the option that says editing so we don't just want to view this file we want to be able to edit this file so that we can do our formatting and make changes to this file come on are you with me okay so now i will change the option from viewing to editing this is step b right we are changing the option from viewing to edit from the viewing mode to the edit mode from the viewing mode to the edit mode so i'm going to click on editing and then i will have this pop-up here telling me do i want to convert this or open in desktop app no i don't want to open on my microsoft excel desktop app i want to just convert this here to microsoft online um microsoft excel online file so i'm going to click on convert and the moment you click on convert it start doing its magic converting the file for you and then you are going to have the converted file to work with now why is it important to convert the file so that it can be easy for you to work with it on microsoft excel is that okay so it's done with the conversion is done with the conversion at the moment and now you can see that my file is converted i can now edit this file come on if you have done this you want to celebrate yourself with something chilled maybe take a juice take something and celebrate yourself okay so the next thing we are going to do we are going to the formatting so what we are going to do now the first thing you need to understand about formatting formatting is a way of organizing your data is that okay a way of organizing your data a way of organizing your data so what we are going to do now is we are going to select these headings of this data so you can see the headings let me zoom in a little bit okay so where am i zooming some people might be asking mr favor francis where are you where are you zooming from if you look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen you're gonna see the plus icon you see the zoom plus icon so that is where i'm zooming in my data cell from is that okay so now i've zoomed in my data cell to make it bolder and now you see the headings of my data this place you have the gender the race the parental the launch the test the math the reading the writing the total you see all those cells those are the headings of this data so what i'm going to do now is as i've selected the data how did i select the data i selected the first one holding my left click and then i dragged that to the end now the first thing i'm going to do is to create a table that is one of the fastest way to format your data on excel so now i've selected the heading i'm going to go to this um more options now look at where my cursor is dangling look at it there's more options more options because of my pc is not that wide so you find that that other options are hidden so i'll select that three dots at the top right hand corner just below the share button just below the share button you're going to see the option that says format as table what format as table so i'm going to select that option and then you can see the different table styles you can format your data into what can you see you can see the different table styles you can format your data into so i'm just going to pick any of the table style let me pick this orange this light orange so i'll just pick this light orange okay it's asking me the data for your table is 
is in the following range does it have a header i will leave it i will not check this box i'll click on ok and then you should have I would together you should have your data file like this is that okay so now we didn't check that header box you find out that it is giving us a header so we don't want that so i'm going to undo by pressing ctrl z is that okay and then i'm going to undo by pressing ctrl z and then i'm going to create that table format again this time around i'm going to create that table format again this time around i'm going to check the my table has a header so i'll click on ok and now you see that right your table has a very nice header over here are you seeing it your table has a very good header over here right so now we have created this so let me zoom out a little so that you guys can see everything in total now you have created this the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add more formatting is that okay so formatting like the font style the color the borders and the, the alignment all these are very important font styling you need to know so how do I do that so the first thing I'm going to do now which is step we are in the next step which is step D is that okay so step A was importing the data step B was converting the data from the viewing to the edit mode is that okay step C was converting the data set into a table format how do you know that a data is in a table format the data is gonna have these um drop downs are you seeing these um drop downs this filter and sort drop downs so you can see that the data has this filter and sort what drop downs okay so now what we are going to do again is we are going to take our mouse cursor and then we are going to click right on this demarcation right the demarcation between the rows and the columns the rows and the columns what are the columns the a b c d e f are the columns whereas the rows are the one two three four five six is that okay so there is a there's a space here that demarcates the rows and columns what do i say the rows and columns so once you click on that space you highlight the entire data set cells is that okay now i've highlighted the entire data set cells i can go to my format option here and choose first of all i can choose the font i want i can choose a new font if i need a new font so let me just change the fonts to area so I choose the area fonts. Another thing I can do again is that okay? Another thing again I can do again is to increase the font size. So maybe it's too small. I can make it bolder for eligibility purposes. Is that okay? So I'll make it to be 12 so that it can be more eligible for reading. It can be more eligible for reading. Now the next thing I can do again is to align my data so that all my data can be aligned accordingly. What is alignment? Your structure, your data structure. How do you want your data to be positioned? Is that okay? Are we on the same page? how do you want your data to be positioned so when you take your mouse cursor you're going to see um this option just right here in the middle that looks like um horizontal lines right that is the align option so if i click on that drop down you'll see align either you can align left or you can align center or you can align right so i'm going to align all the data on left align to make everything to be structured accordingly not some data columns having um not some data columns having right aligns and some other data column having left align or center align is that okay now i've done that another thing again you can choose to do that is your choice is to what is to add borders so if you want to add borders to your data set you can go ahead and do that maybe to really differentiate between the columns so i can go ahead and select this border just close to this bold 
this bold text right here this bold two right here so you can see the align is like a box is like a square box you can see the align two right here you can see the borders sorry not align borders you can see the borders right so if i click on that drop down you can see that you can give different borders you can give borders for everything you can give borders just for the outside borders you can different things you can do right here so let's just select the all borders let us select the all borders so you can see this option that says all borders that is the second border option the second border option you can see it from the first one the second border option from the second line right so i'll select that to give it an all border so you can see that we have applied an all border to this word data file is that okay so with this little thing you have made your data to be more legible you have formatted your data to be more readable so right now your data is more legible and more readable so everyone watching this video especially those in the live section i want you especially those that is taking the boot camp i want you to do this right and let me show you how to download your data set so that you can be able to submit as your project because of this is your project one so i'm going to go to my file again in order to download this data set and you see the option that says export 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 e x p o r t so you can either export as a pdf or as an e as a csv file either as a pdf or as a csv file is that okay so everybody we are going to be exporting as a pdf right now so come on work with me guys you're enjoying this i know that so we'll click on pdf and the moment you click on pdf right it will take us to this path where it is going to show us the pdf and all that so you can just go ahead and uh, choose the paper size maybe you want to use an a4 paper size you want to use that or maybe you want to use yes a4 paper size and maybe you want to use landscape or portrait or whatever so i'll leave it at landscape and then you just click on download right you just click on download so the moment i click on download you can see that my data file just downloaded that's for those of you downloading as pdf but for those of you downloading as a csv file that is straight to the point so you can just go to download as csv and click on download and immediately it start downloading for you so I recommend you downloading as a csv file is that okay but if you still want to do pdf you can still do pdf but csv file is faster and is better so this is your project so i wish you all the best i know you can do this make sure you do this you can always watch the video again and again and again in order to get whatever you're leaving behind or whatever you're missing always remember that at ideal nova data school learning is the foundation to innovation my name is Silmen Fever francis and i see you in the next lesson